Dior's Kim Jones kicked Meghan out of Paris Fashion Week show while Princess Eugenie sat on the front row. Paris Fashion Week, Dior's menswear's Kim Jones presented a show where Lewis Hamilton, Bill Nye, Kate Moss, Nicholas Holt, Rita Ora, Princess Eugenie and Farrell Williams sat front row. But Meghan Markle was blacklisted. Princess Eugenie exuded elegance at the Dior Homme Fall Winter 2024-25 show during Paris Fashion Week on Friday. The 33-year-old daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, graced the front row in a sophisticated all-black ensemble, featuring a pencil dress and tuxedo-inspired coat at the glamorous event held at École Militaire. The look, a sleek Fendi dress, blazer and heels, is a far cry from her usual. She joins other celebrities such as Anna Wintour, Victoria Beckham, Kim Kardashian and Princess Diana, who've championed the look. Meghan has also been previously linked to Dior. It had been speculated she'd sign a £15 million deal with the French fashion house, which didn't come to fruition. Kate Moss, her daughter Leela and Rita Ora led the stars attending the Dior menswear fashion show at École Militaire in Paris on Friday. Why is Eugenie at Dior Homme? That's the men's line for Dior. I seriously doubt she's shopping for Jack. He doesn't need Dior rags. Maybe she's gotten advice from Markle about how to get free clothes in exchange for photo ops. But Meghan and Harry were uninvited to the show. So beautiful to see Eugenie getting Markled so hard. She's probably trying to build her own thing, but it serves her right for having been a vicious bish to Princess Catherine for years and for propping up the vile duo. Like a parent, she doesn't know how to make the proper alliances and doesn't use her head. Not a doubt in my mind she's part of the Scooby Meghan Harry leak. It comes as Daily Star reported that Harry and Meghan's crumbling Montecito empire has received another blow, despite the Duke of Sussex making a wise decision recently. Prince Harry made the decision to withdraw his libel case against the Mill on Sunday newspaper earlier this week. He was due to hand over documents amid the court case, but abandoned it at the 11th hour, writes The Mirror. Harry and his wife Meghan moved to America after quitting the royal family back in 2020 and have two children. The Duke now faces the possibility of paying the newspaper's legal costs as well as his own. Its seen GB News host Nana Akua has spoken of Harry and Meghan's crumbling Montecito empire. She also said that she believes his decision to drop the libel case was wise so that he can focus on the safety of his family and the ongoing legal action against the home office he's embroiled in. Speaking on the network, she said, it's finally dawning on him that unnecessary legal battles over he said, she said, which with not much to go on costs money and frankly it's money he needs to keep hold of. Judging by how well he and his missus are currently being received over in the States in their crumbling Montecito empire. Nana went on to add, whilst the royal family have been admirably getting on with their jobs, Prince Harry's taken the sensible decision to get out whilst he still can with a relatively low billing compared to the millions it was likely to cost him to take them to court.